In this video, I'll show you how to increase and get more FPS in Minecraft. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. We really do appreciate it. And let's get right into this video. The best way I found to go and boost and increase FPS on Minecraft is by using an optimization tool called Optifine. Now you may already have heard of it and you may even have it installed. So I'm gonna show you how you can go and install it and the best settings for Optifine to go and have a really high performance session and get as much FPS as possible. So if you haven't already got Optifine, I'll quickly show you how. All you need to do is go and open up a web browser and go to a search engine and go and search for Optifine, just like so, O-P-T-I-F-I-N-E. Then all you want to do is make sure you go to your official website, which is optifine.net, and here we are. And then come to this top bar here and go and press on downloads. Now, as you can see at the top, it's gonna go and show you the most up-to-date version of Optifine, but if you prefer to play on older versions of Minecraft, then go and press show all versions, and you can go and get an older version of Optifine for Minecraft. So I personally want Optifine for Minecraft 1.19.2, so I'm gonna go and press on download. Now you will be taken to an ad wall, so be very careful what you click on here, as it's different for every single person. But what you need to do is wait for five seconds to pass in the top right, and then the skip button is going to appear just like so, and here we are. So now all we need to do is press download, and we're gonna go and start the download in the bottom of our browser. Now it is important to note that every browser is slightly different and your downloads won't always appear in the bottom, um, but you can always go and find your downloads in the downloads folder on File Explorer, and that applies if you're on a Mac as well and using Finder. So now what I'm gonna go and do is drag Optifine onto my desktop just like so. Now it is important to note that it may not run as smooth as you may think. With Optifine, what you need to do is go and double tap on it. And what should happen is you get this Optifine installer open up. Now, if you don't, this means you don't have Java installed. So all you need to do is go and back to your um, browser and you need to go and go to java.com and go and download Java because Java is needed to run to go and use Optifine and just install it essentially. So go and click download Java go and download it, and then probably go and reset your computer, it's worth doing. And then what you need to do is go and click on the Optifine installer, right click on it, and what you need to do is press open with, and then you need to click choose another app, and you need to go and find Java TM platform SE binary, tap on it, and then press always use this app to open .jar files, press okay, and then that's gonna open up fine, and you can then go and install it. Then all you need to do is press install and nothing's going to happen. You may think it's crashed or something, but in a moment, you're then going to get this pop-up saying Optifine is successfully installed. Now, all we need to do is go and open up Minecraft. I've now opened up the Minecraft launcher, but what's really important is you go and run Minecraft with Optifine. So what you need to do is go and click on latest release and then go and press Optifine and then go and press play and Minecraft's going to launch with Optifine. So now here we are in Minecraft and we've now got Optifine installed and I'm going to show you the best settings you can go and use um, to go and get the highest performance possible on Minecraft and boost your FPS and just increase it. So let's go and jump into the settings. So all you want to do is go and pause your game by pressing escape on your keyboard then tap on options and then go to video settings and here's where we can go and start making some changes now just before i go and explain these you could go through these by yourself when you go and hover your mouse over one of the options it's going to go and say the best option to go for if you're trying to go for um, like speed and performance as you can see it says lower quality and faster which basically means it's fast for your computer now when it comes to smooth lighting of course the fastest option is going to be off as it says so we've turned it to off but with it off, um, everything looks really weird and it just doesn't look quite normal. So with some of these options, you're gonna have to sacrifice a bit of FPS because it looks really bad basically without it. For example, minimum may be a good option because then at least it looks a bit normal because even though it's completely off and you get higher FPS, it just looks really weird, right? So you've got to sort of balance it out. And it's the same for a lot of these settings. Some of these settings are going to have to make a sacrifice for a bit of lower FPS to have a way better visual experience. And then you can go and adjust the smooth lighting level to you want. It doesn't really matter. For brightness, that doesn't really matter either. When you go and hover over dynamic lights, it does say it to be off is going to be actually faster. Shaders, just ignore that if you're trying to get high FPS. Then let's get into details and this is where we can really make an impact. So things like clouds and things like that, once again, to them being off or fast is going to be definitely the fastest option. So this is, should be off and I'm going to go through all of these and then show you what I've done. So here we are for the detail settings. As you can see, most of these are either off or on fast, just to go and optimize for FPS. So you can go and copy all of these. As of before, just hover over it and it is going to go and give you a result. Now let's go and get into animations. Now for the animation settings, it's quite hard because of course, pressing all off, that's going to be fastest. 
but if you notice when they're all off like water just doesn't do anything and let's just go and click here as you can see like it just looks really weird to me um like the water literally doesn't move so things like that i personally sacrifice a bit of fps just for it to look good because at the end of the day it just looks really weird so having that on you know it just makes a big impact to minecraft for me so i think it's worth having but that's up to you um but as i said before sometimes you've just got to make a sacrifice so for me i definitely want water on and things like fire as well because otherwise it looks really weird but now let's go and jump into over here. So of course, render distance being as low as possible is going to be faster. But I can understand that you may want it to be a bit high because otherwise you can barely see um, anywhere. But if you're really trying to get high FPS and do it, for the simulation distance, you can go and lower that as well. The max frame rate doesn't do anything. Honestly, it's better being unlimited because then you've got the, the scope to go as high as possible. For entity shadows, you can go and turn that on or off. It doesn't really matter. And now let's go into quality. So quality, once again, there's quite a lot to go and choose. So I'm gonna go and customize these and then go and show you my results. And here are my finished quality settings. Once again, these are up to you to go and copy. These are just what I've done to go get the fastest FPS and I based it off what they say here. Then go and press done and let's go and get into performance. And these are my finished performance settings. I've turned some of these on and left some of them off. They don't make a difference. Um, for example, render regions is actually faster for it to be on as you can see. So there we go, then press done. And then you've got other, but most of these isn't a huge impact. For, for example, things like weather, honestly, that will be a little bit faster um, at being off. But you know, things like snow, it all makes a big impact to Minecraft and your playing experience. That's up to you. But there we go, there are the main settings. If you regret any of these, all you need to do is press reset Set video settings and then you can go back to how it was but here we are this is minecraft pretty much as fast as possible and this is how you can go and get as high fps as possible with optifine it's such a great tool and it allows so many more settings um than minecraft would allow without it which is why i think it's so important to go and really optimize the game of course you can go and increase your minecraft fps as well by closing other programs you currently got open for example, if you've got something like Photoshop open and playing Minecraft, your game is going to be dramatically lower FPS um, because Photoshop uses so much power. But there we go. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing. Leave a like for more. Peace.